obviously something had to go not to plan. Just hosing myself down at the moment. <laughs> Got a wee party of kids following me this morning. Morning Holly! What a beast! Big breakdown. This is real work. Road bike won't start. <laughs> Nothing. I'm gonna tackle it. Maybe tomorrow. Good morning. Here comes Parsley. Let's start running now. Good lad. Right, today the calves are getting clipped. Plus those new clippers I got yesterday. And then I need to have a look at one of the cows, he's got a bit of a sore leg. I put the flatbed behind this forklift to use it as a gate, a massive long gate. Save me setting up a proper gate. Just put the forks on there and then I can shift some other gates with these forks. Flatbed secured, wire running there, you see that? That's still the fan in the wheat, which doesn't actually need it, but there's no harm in bringing it down. A bit in temperature, just peace of mind. Especially when it's got so much value this year. Well, it's got so much value every year, but. Right, we're set up. Got a disabled fence. We're all in, just a way to grab the clippers Then we can start running them through Beast, how'd you get it wrong way? <laughs> 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 They're all done now, give them a bit of grub. Now we need to go and get that coo that's lying down. She's got sore back foot. Here she is, poor beast has been lying down all day yesterday. She's got kind of crossed over hoofs on the back. I need trimmed and whatnot, so 
have a look at her. Get in. You can see them crossed over there. She'll not come in, just walking in. So I've set up gates there and we'll hopefully get her in that corner. Obviously something had to go, not to plan. So cow wouldn't come in. Quad bike's broken down, so I can't go and chase them all and bring them all in. Uh, don't really want to take the farther effect, it's totally gutters. So we've got a cow, we put some gates in the field, got a cow into the gates. Now we need to get the tractor, put a livestock trailer on the back of the tractor and head out and put the cow from the gates into the trailer. What that fast. And she was, oh, she was so close to the gate, I almost had her in. And the clipping went all so smoothly. Hopefully the door actually works. We had our own Sparky come out and do exactly the same as last time to get it working again after they said they'd repaired the first thing that was wrong with it. Trailer's on. Now to persuade a cow to get in it. Right, she's in. Didn't get any of it. The dog's having a field day. Oh, don't get in my way. What's that mess? What the hell? So we've got her in here, you can see the issue, you can see how they've crossed over. Apparently it's a thing, if you breed with this cattle beast, um, the calves will be like that. So we need to get our legs strapped up so we can get in about these, trim them back a bit. Never done it before, but just have to go for it, see what happens. I'm not claiming to be an expert anyway, but improved it a lot this was coming right out to here and kind of crossing over you'll see on the next one when we get it up it's improved it i've not got the right tool for the job but hopefully that will be a lot com more comfortable for her. so this is what it used to look like right she's done hopefully that will improve her bits of her hoof lying all over the ground smashing just hosing myself down at the moment oh jesus needing a shower She's better, but she's not been using her back legs for the last couple of days, so they'll be a bit stiff and sensitive, so keep an eye on her. Just clearing everything up, hold on. Clearing everything up, and then I'm going to the pub. Thanks for watching. If you can like and subscribe, um, going for 3,000. The plan was the end of harvest, but harvest was that quick, and things slowed down a wee bit as well. We'll get there eventually. 3,000 subscribers in, oh, it's like mid-October at the moment, so. End of September? No, that won't work. <laughs> November, end of November. Thanks for watching. The geese are back. Updating the barn conversion. Uh, plasterboard's all been filled and whatnot, just needs painted now. Window needs to go in there. This room's almost done, basically. Ready to be in office, plugs. Um, skirting needs to go around the bottom and whatnot. Then we've got the main store area. Just a wee bit left to sheet over there. You can't actually see. There's a wee bit left to sheet. The rest of it's all sheeted, done. And there's a door to go in the front. There's cladding to go in the front as well to stop the weather coming in. But it's pretty much, well, the bulk of it's done. There'll be wee pernickety picks, bits that take quite a while. There's the window actually that's going in. Um, to the office. It's an old window that came out of the farm shop when it, we did the last extension. So that's everything in there. It's getting there. Almost done. Just giving these a wee bit of a clean down before I put them away. So I'm gonna be using them until next year. There you go, there's the hair that's come back out of the cutter. Lovely. I asked my question of the day, what? People call this, and actually, everyone calls it Baylor Town. Um, I do too. I just presumed there'd be quite a lot of names for it. Someone also called it uh, the Bearing Destroyer, which I would agree with too. Today's question What are these? Obviously, pliers, but what specifically is their job? I did just clean this place, but anyway. Come on.